Prescott, a town within the borough of Knowlesley in Merseyside, northwest England. It lies around 8 miles east of Liverpool city centre, with a population of around 11,000 people. In the late 1500s this quaint little town was home to the Prescott Playhouse, a purpose-built Shakespearean theatre where the famous bard himself Shakespeare would run his shows gauging the interest of the audiences before showcasing them in London's Globe Theatre. During the 18th century Prescott became the centre of the clock and watch making industry until 1910 when the Lancashire Watch Company could no longer compete with the larger American and Swiss manufacturers and so went bankrupt. This made way for the British insulated calendars cables to become the dominant industry in Prescott. The BICC became the largest employer in Prescott of the 20th century and built an extensive industrial complex covering a large area to the southeast of the town. In 1991 the BICC closed the factory selling parts of the business off to various other companies. The BICC now ceases to exist with the large industrial complex now home to Cables Retail Park, a small nudge to the once giant industrial past of the ground it sits on. Less than 10 minutes walk from the Cables Retail Park is Prescott's local football team Prescott Cables, known affectionately by its fan base as the Pesky Bulls. Established in 1884, Prescott's fortunes have been a little bit up and down over the course of its history. Prescott joined the Lancashire Combination League in 1927-28, taking over the record of Fleetwood Town who resigned from the league after playing 22 matches. Until 1968, the Lancashire Combination was the Premier League for non-league club in the northwest of England. 1954 through to 1960 was probably the club's most successful period. They were promoted to Division 1 after finishing Division 2 as runners-up. And in 1954-55, Prescott registered their record victory over Great Harwood, an emphatic 18-3 win. Two years later, in 1956-57, they finished as champions in the Lancashire Combination, followed by two seasons as runners-up. In 1957-58, they fought their way to the FA Cup first round proper for the first time ever in the history, a feat they repeated again in the 1959-1960 season, losing both ties 1-0 against Hartlepool and Darlington respectively. In 1982-83, Cables became founder members of the North West Counties League and won promotion to Division 1 in 86-87. Two more promotions would follow in the 01-02 and 02-03 season, leaving them playing at their highest ever flight in football, the Northern Premier League Premier Division. Since then, the club's league fortunes have dipped slightly after dropping down to the Northern Premier League Division 1, where they currently play their football. However, with back-to-back -back Liverpool Senior Cup wins against Southport in 2017 and Marine in 2018 and a final league position of fifth this season, this club is definitely on the up. Hi guys, what is up? I'm Darren, also known as Kyle XFM. Just a little bit about um, why I'm doing this series with Prescott Cables this year. Basically, when I moved up to uh, Liverpool in 2006, um, we're going to fast forward from there to 2010 when I met my wife working in Subway. Would you believe it? Subway love. So yeah, she's from Prescott and we we moved to Prescott and we got our little uh, flat and me being the football fan that I am, first thing I did was look for the local club, which funny enough was only two minutes down the road. Um, we've moved since and we're not as close as we used to be, but now I can still easily get to the games and I try and get to as many as I can. So this club, um, when I first started going, in 2010 it seemed to be sort of a, a typical small lower league club uh, that didn't have much luck or way in finding a connection to the community since then it's sort of grown when i when i was going originally there was like 50 maybe 50 people and they were all quite old and um it made me think like what's going to happen to them in 20 years 30 years when all these old guys who have been going for years, you know, 
move on. Um, what what's going to happen to the club then? There was there, I didn't see one young kid there. Now it seems to be a bit more sort of you know that they've they've got used to social media. They're pushing. They're they're trying to find new ways to um, broaden their horizons and find new fans coming uh, through the gates. So. Last year, when I started doing Football Manager, I had it in the back of my mind that, that once I've had a, a a year of messing around and doing my YouTube channel and Twitch, I wouldn't mind giving it a go and partnering up with uh, Prescott Cable. So it's been in my mind for about a year. And that, that time now has come. And we have partnered up. And I am going to play them in my Football Manager 2019 save. And this save is going to be, hopefully, for the length of 2019 uh, football manager but I want to carry on as long as possible and I the idea isn't just to be sat at my desk with uh, football manager running in the background um, I wanted to bring something a bit fresh so I've tried to speak to the people of the club people including directors players fans and I've tried to sort of gain their interest and try and get them all involved and i I've had an absolute fantastic response. There's so many people that are willing to get involved. And the plan is is to make this as sort of as as less sat at my desk and you know a bit more acting and with with a lot of people involved um from the club. So the idea is is that it, it it's entertaining but it's a bit different from what we're all used to seeing. Um and I'm not talking about the typical, you know, quick sketch at the beginning of the episode. I want to literally play with as little gameplay, obviously, apart from the match. Obviously, the match is, you know, the main thing. But, you know, things like the press conferences and talking to the fans and stuff like that, uh, talking to the players, giving them man of the matches. Now, rather than show it on my inbox, I, I, I want to try and, you know, speak to the players and, and get them to answer questions on the virtual game but in real life um so yeah that's that's basically what i'm trying to do with football manager 19 and prescott cables they're a great little club we're getting a fair amount more people than we were when i first started going which is brilliant um and there's a lot of young lads as well which is even better it means that you know it's not just going to die out and implode so yeah it, it's it's really good if you get if you're ever around um liverpool on a weekend and you're looking for something to do nip up to prescott get yourself to a prescott cables game it's it's so entertaining it's not the typical long ball route one you know what people would think is boring non-league it's actually really really good and i'm not just saying that because you know i'm partnered with them i i go to as many home games as i possibly can and it's always entertaining the atmosphere is electric for non-league it's brilliant there's um the fans are just outstanding um, and it's a long cry from what it was when I first went a few years back. So, yeah, I hope um, you've enjoyed this intro episode and my uh, little history lesson into Prescott and then the cables. The next episode, episode one, will be out very soon. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. And in the meantime, hit that like button, hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. And if you've got anything to ask, comment in the box. Hopefully we can get as much people involved as possible and hopefully you know we can we can we can make this a success um because it could be hit and miss it's it's down to whether people want to get involved that week you know some weeks i might have to just play the game but as much as possible i want fan player and you know staff um getting involved in the game as well so i'll leave it there guys peace out i am coming